Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about collection initializers in C what it is and how and when to use in C program. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon, that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok, without any further delay, let's get started. What is collection initializers in C -sharp? Collection initializers enables us to initialize the collection with an initialization list rather than calling a specific calls to add or another method. Please make sure that the collection type implements the I enumerable interface. It's available in C Sharp 3.0 and above version. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples shown over here. Let's say I am interested to create imply list that should have two implied details. So with collection initializers, we write where imply list is equal to new list of imply and then opening and closing curly braces and semicolon at the end of that closing process, right? And then in between what I'm writing, I'm writing the object initializers. So this is the object initializer syntax where I'm writing new imply and here opening and closing curly braces and in between, I'm just assigning the values to the properties. And that's what I have written name is equal to Ravi, skills is equal to C sharp, JavaScript, microservices. So a skill is nothing but the list where it has different skill set, C sharp, JavaScript and microservices. For the second imply, I have written new imply name is equal to Akanksha, skills is equal to business analysis and action. So these two skills are assigned to Akanksha. So now you understood that I have used object initializer inside the collection initializer for creating the object and assigning value to the properties. And one object is separated with the another object with the help of comma. And that's how we write the collection initializers. If you see the traditional way where I'm not using collection initializers, we usually write the code this way, where we create first list object. Here in our example, I have created list of imply object, right? That's what I have written list of imply. Imply is equal to new list of imply. And then one by one, we are creating the imply object and assigning values to its properties. And finally, we are using this add method to add that particular imply object into the imply list, right? So if you see imply e1 is equal to new imply, here I have created an instance of this imply. After creating an instance of this particular imply, what I am doing, I am accessing its properties and assigning value to it. So here e1.name is equal to Ravi and skills, basically it's a list. So I'm just using this add operation to it. So e1.skills.add C sharp, e1.skills.add JavaScript, e1.skills.add microservices. And finally, when we assign the value to particular properties, then what I'm doing, I'm just using this add method of this implies list, right? To add that particular imply to that particular race. So that's what implies dot add. Similarly, I have created an object of imply E2, and then I have access its properties and then assign value to its properties. So E2 dot name is equal to Akanksha, E2 dot skills dot add business analysis, E2 dot skills dot action, and then implies dot add i'm just adding that particular object of that particular imply to this imply list and that's what i have written implies dot add if you see this list that i have created using the collection initializers and the traditional way both are doing the same thing but if you see how many lines of code needs to be written right for uh, if you if, if you go ahead and implement this traditional way but if you see this collection initializers Code is much cleaner, readable and few lines of code, right? So don't you feel good about collection initializers? At least I do. Okay, now let's discuss about why it's needed. As we have witnessed, it provides easy and faster initialization of collection with an initialized list, right? Number two, no need to a specific calls to add or another method. Here, if you see this traditional way, I have used this add method. But with collection initializers, we don't need to use any add method. We've... Number three. It's more readable and provide the concise syntax. You have already seen this much line. We need to write the code if you go for the traditional. But if you see this collection initializers, we have very few line of the codes, right? And it's more readable and more cleaner. Okay, now let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. So here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the collection initializer in Cisha. So for that, what I have done, I have created one console application collection initializers demo and it has program.cs file. So I have created two classes inside that first is the imply class and the second one is the program. In imply class, what I have done, I have written some auto implemented properties so name. And here, if you see this skills, skill is nothing but the list of a string. 
here I have written public list of a string a skills and then I'm just using this get accessor for returning that a particular skills right and then there is a method named that accepts employee object and then it is just going to fetch name and skills dot count and printing into this console window right that's what this print me method is doing now there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application here what i am doing i am just writing this statement demo of collection initializer in c sharp so here we are just going to give the demo of the collection initializers so i have written this statement and here we are going to see both way traditional way as well as the collection initializers way so if you see i have written this statement traditional way without using collection initializer in c sharp so here for that what i have done i have created an object of this list of employee that's what i have written list of employee employee is equal to new list of employee right then i have created an object of employee class and that's what i have written employee e1 is equal to new employee and then i am accessing its properties and assigning value to it so e1 dot name is equal to ravi here because the skills nothing but the list so i am just accessing e1 dot skills dot add i am adding that skill to it right so c sharp javascript microservices i have added to the skill section now finally what i am doing i am using list of employee add method for adding this particular employee to the list and that's what i have written implies dot add e1 right e1 is nothing but the object of that particular employee where we have filled this you know properties values so i am i am finally adding to the employee list now I have created another employee named e2 and then I have assigned name skills to it. So name is equal to Akansha, skills dot add is equal to business analysis, and second skill is the actual. I have added that. And finally, I am adding this e2 employee to the employees list. So that's what I have written employees dot add e2. Then what I am doing, I am just iterating this employee list with the help of for each loop. So that's what I have written employee e in employee, and then what I am doing inside this for each loop. I'm just calling this print me method of this employee class. This is the print me method, right? This method basically accepts this employee object. So here, what I have done, I have passed this employee object e, so that this statement is just going to print this whatever the attribute that we are planning to print into this console window. It should get printed, right? That's why I have just called this print me method. So this is the way how to create a collection object, right? the traditional way where we are not using this collection initializer now let me show you how we are going to use collection initializer in csha so for that i have written this statement where imply list is equal to new list of imply opening and closing curly braces and semicolon at the end and i have written this object initializer inside that list right inside this curly braces so new imply name is equal to ravi skills c sharp javascript microservices Second imply name is equal to Akanksha skills business analysis and action. So these two skill set I am mentioned for Akanksha imply, and then I'm just iterating this uh, imply list with the help of for each loop, and then I'm just calling this print me method for printing whatever the attribute that I have set it. Right. So print me method is nothing but this method that basically is just going to retrieve data, retrieve the properties values from imply object and then in printing into this console window okay now you have seen the traditional way as well as the collection initializers way for creating a collection and iterating that value let me execute this program and see the output okay so output got appear into this console window if you see traditional way without using collection initializer in c sharp name is equal to ravi skills count is equal to three because if you see i have written three skill set for ravi c sharp javascript and microservices and in this print me method what i am doing i am just counting the skill plies dot skills dot count right and that's why this count is getting printed as a three for akanksha skill count is two because if you see for akanksha i have written these two skill set business analysis and action so how many counts are there only two right so that's why this statement got printed for akanksha skill count is equal to two and name is equal to akanksha got printed the same thing i'm just going to achieve with the help of collection initializers right so that's what this statement got printed and if you see name is equal to ravi skills count is equal to three name is equal to akanksha skills count is equal to two got printed so the traditional way and the collection initializers way are giving us the same output but if you see the line of code that we use for the traditional way is much bigger 
compared to the collection initializers right and if you see this collection initializers it's very much readable right that i have written this skill set c sharp javascript microservices and this is the name this is the list of employee right and there are two implies that i have mentioned it's it's a very much clear readable and you know it's uh, very easy to write it so that's the benefit of the collection initialize okay now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what collection initializer in c sharp are why it is needed and then we saw its example to develop our understanding that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video